Beijing is a lovely place for me. Uh, at home, it's lovely. My dad and mom cook together. And my dad will never give my mom direct credit. My mom will make like this amazing mutton curry. Like, mom, amazing mutton curry. She's like, oh, thank you. My dad like, but who bought it? <laughs> Be- buy bad mutton, the whole curry could have been horrible. <laughs> my dad says, thank you. Yeah. Now, when you say, when you tell someone, I know how to cook, email like, yeah, 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 what can you cook? Like, no one takes it straight. Like, no one believes you can cook. Yeah, hello, what do you can cook? The moment, don't ever make the mistake of starting with egg. Okay? Because like, yeah, I cook egg and egg, egg and all is not cooking. Oh, egg, it seems. So, <laughs> but egg, egg is pretty difficult to cook, man. You can screw up eggs. Yeah, you can make bad eggs. And then the vegetarian version of this is paneer. No one gives you any respect if you can make paneer. See, I can make paneer burji. Yeah, I can eat air also. Uh, so, no one gives you any respect. Anyway, so, um, so I can cook that and I can make chicken curry. Okay? I can make chicken curry. Yeah, that's when I get respect. When you put the word curry, they're like, bro, you're a real chef. And it's amazing. There are a lot of people I've met who are afraid of making rice. It's either insane confidence to make rice or absolutely no confidence to make rice. It's like, hey man, we have dal, we have chicken, we need to rice. I'll make it. No, we, we just order rice. No, I'll make it in five minutes. Rice takes five minutes. And some people are like, macha, I'll make rice. Macha, I don't know. That. Sometimes it's like squishy and all. Sometimes it's dry and all. Macha, you just order it off, dude. Like, I, I find cooking rice difficult. That's why when I go to a restaurant and the basmati, each grain is separate. I'm like, is this some Harry Potter shit? How do you perfectly separate each granule? There are certain things in the kitchen that you can't ignore. So obviously you have to start with the casserole, okay? Don't you feel like you're home already? This casserole is this amazing, amazing utensil at home, which is so elitist. It's like, holy chapatis or nothing. It does not allow any other food item to be inside it. And because we're conditioned to it, if you open a casserole and there's something other than chapati, you freak the fuck out. <laughs> like, I'm all saying, oh, oh, bindi, who the fuck puts bindi? <laughs> Don't do this. Anyway, so. And it depresses, there's no, no true sadness like opening a casserole and being empty. You wanna feel sadness? You ready for sadness? Some fancy people put tissues and all. Because the chapati needs a bed to sleep. <laughs> now, as you know, you can't talk about the kitchen. Let's talk about the Palin. The most sexist mom <laughs> instrument. Used in all advertising. <laughs> Mummy hai Balin barak to. It's the most sexist thing you can do. Uh, this is a legit Balin sort of for a prop. You can see there's some atta on the shiz. It's legit. It's been through. It's 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 been on the field. Yeah. It's been in service. It's uh, still serving. Uh, Balin. I, oh, by the way, I can't make a chapati. I just want to outright say it because I'm not a magician. <laughs> the skill it takes to make chapatis. Um, my dad can make good chapatis. My mom's chapatis should be given an Oscar. Because they're so soft. Now, uh, this is an apron. By the way, uh, India, mein, no one uses apron. Does anyone use an apron? But everyone's bought it at one point. Yeah, because like, when I cook, no, I'll wear an apron. I'll be fun. And my clothes will be clean. So that way, before going to a party, I can cook and I'll be safe and I'll take it off. No one uses an apron because in India, cooking is not fashionable, okay? Abroad, they're like, you know, I'll treat myself, I'll cook, yeah. Oh my God, call my friends, get some wine and cheese. Oh. In India, they're like, ah. It's looked down upon so much. So no one wears an apron. Freaking pocha kapra is back. So pocha kapra is always a part of your life. There are two types of pocha kapra, one which is given respect and one which isn't. When you buy it, there is no mercy given to it. Randomly, like, you will be used for the table and you will be used for the ground. <laughs> and the ground pocha and this pocha never meet. My mom will lose her mind if I mix these two. She will... 
So one day I was like, I'm going to impress my parents. So my dad usually cleans the table and goes, so one day I'm like, you know what, guys, chill. I'm going to clean the table. I took the wrong cloth, guys. I took the flow cloth and then I cleaned the table. Next thing, she burned the whole table. Now, obviously, we have to come to the cleaning. Okay, by the way, the one thing I really like, I love doing the dishes. It's my favorite thing. Yes. I love doing the dishes. Because it's certain like, it's like my friend, it's my friend Scotch Bright. <laughs> okay, it's like, hey, when you need me to be soft, I'm here, girl. When you need to be rough, <laughs> I can do that. Just tell me if it's too much. Use the safe word. I slip little, slip little jokes. So, but sometimes, some scum, some dirt can't be clean with this guy, because he's a good cop. You gotta get bad cop in the scene. You gotta get bad cop! Bad cop is no nonsense. It's like, where is it? Where is it? Where's the dirt? And the thing is, look at how amazing this thing is. It's like kryptonite. It's awesome. It's a metal mesh. And the unfortunate thing about metal mesh is that this lasts longer than this. You know why? Because this, when it gets dirty, you squeeze it and it's clean. It just takes it inside. It takes it inside. And you can't clean it. It's like, it's okay. I did my job. And it retires gracefully into the dustbin. Now, Prill, guys, please, if someone's not on this amazing shiz, get on it right now. Is anyone not on Prill right now? There are some people, there are some folks who are shy right now, who use a bar of... of talking about the Wim bar. It is effective. But guys, once you go Prill, you don't go back. Prill is amazing. Oh, Prill didn't pay me to say this. But I want to pay Prill every day for helping everybody in this. This thing is amazing. If you put one drop on it, it's gone. Everything's gone. You can put on your brain and you wipe your memories. <laughs> now the Wim Bar is pretty hardcore, huh? <laughs> Look at this! If Medimix... Yeah! Never thought Medimix would get a round of applause. If Medimix works out every day on an all-protein diet, Lifts weights, does powerlifting, it turns into Wim motherfucking bar. Yeah. yeah. Come on, 20 push ups, I can't do it, man, I can't do it. 20 motherfucking push ups. It's crazy, this thing, man. Is this actually Wim or is it fucking cement block? I don't know. What the hell, man? It's so tough. Awesome. It's crazy. Okay, now, this is new discovery that I didn't know existed, which is amazing, which is, I think, meant for teenagers and young people, which is this. Yes. Guys, this is amazing, guys! This put, like, dabbas out of business. But also promotes too much laziness, huh? It's like you buy, like, a packet of sugar, and you're like, I should put it in the dub. Or... I could just take a second and cut the corner and use this for the rest of my life. I think this is amazing, thank you. Whatever scientists made this, let's tweet to him tonight. Saying, thank you, clip guy. And finally, uh, the lighter. It's the lightsaber of the kitchen. You have to earn this. The, the, the lighter is visible to you throughout the whole day. But when you need it... Yeah. It's magically under the stove. It's always under the stove. But for some goddamn reason, we look everywhere else. There's the lighter. It'll be here. It'll be here. Check the bathroom. No, it might be under the stove. He's like, hey, I don't I don't please. As a child, for hours I've been like... Because sometimes it stays in the same direction, sometimes it's just like... 
what amazing nanotechnology is this? <laughs> how, how do you think? I genuinely don't know how they do this, dude. It's crazy. Anyway, so, uh, and the worst part is when you're alone at home, there's no one around, you switch it on, light it, it lights up. The moment you're around your friends and you're making something, yeah, so anyway, uh, one sec. <laughs> Dude, it comes to that embarrassing let me try. No, you, you don't try. I got this. I do it every day, man. I'm not going to die. 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 I'm not going to die.